Black tourmaline, also known as shawl on occasion, is a type of tourmaline mineral that is characterised by its black or at very least dark coloured appearance. It's common in places like Brazil, various countries in Africa as well as the United States amongst many other localities. Tourmaline is a fairly complex silicate mineral which belongs to a group of, or a broader group of minerals known as cyclosilicates. It's composed of a variety of different elements which include things like aluminium, iron, magnesium, sodium as well as lithium. But black tourmaline specifically is composed of iron and magnesium which is what distances it from its more colourful counterparts. Perhaps one of the more interesting or unique properties of tourmaline is its ability to become electrically charged when heated or mechanically stressed. This phenomenon is known as something called pyroelectricity, which was actually first observed by the ancient Egyptians, who regularly used to use the mineral to pull ash from their cooking fires. Today, however, this property is used in a variety of modern technologies, probably most notably things like pressure sensors or pyroelectric detectors. In terms of physical properties, black tourmaline is actually a relatively hard mineral. It's roughly the same hardness of, as quartz, with a Mohs hardness of about 7 to 7.5. It's got a vitreous to submetallic luster, and as I'm sure you've probably already worked out from the video, it's, it's a black colour. It typically forms in elongated or what's known as prismatic crystals that can be several centimetres in length. In the field of geology, black tourmaline is actually a pretty important mineral for understanding the formation of things like igneous and metamorphic rocks. It's commonly found in granitic rocks or schist, and is often used as an indicator of the conditions under which these rocks actually formed. If you're a crystal healer and you're watching this, the thing you probably know or think about black tourmaline is that it protects against negative energy, I can't attest to whether or not that's true or not, but I can tell you where that belief system has come from, which, in my opinion, is actually a lot more interesting than the assumption that it protects against anything. The belief that black tourmaline protects against negative energy actually is very well rooted in physics, uh, just for different reasons. It's kind of a correlation-causation fallacy. So black tourmaline naturally has an electromagnetic field around it, so let's say you were a hunter-gatherer and you were sat around a campfire close to a piece of tourmaline. Perhaps you've been carrying a piece of tourmaline with you. An ember which had emerged from the fire would naturally be drawn towards the tourmaline. It would be pulled closer and closer and closer and closer until it was immediately pushed away. And because of this natural property, which is actually ground, grounded in physics, people have associated it with uh, protection against negative energy for a very, very, very long time. To summarise, black tourmaline is actually a pretty common mineral as far as minerals go. It's fairly affordable for this reason as well. You shouldn't need to spend a lot of money on it unless the piece is absolutely immaculate, fully terminated or absolutely enormous including its ability to become electrically charged and heated or mechanically stressed. It's got some pretty interesting properties. It's also an important mineral for understanding the formation of igneous and metamorphic rocks, so it would be a very interesting addition to any collection.